Hey guys, welcome back to Rainbow Soul. Hope you're all okay. Me, Matt, talking to you, the viewers. If you've just discovered me, then hello, welcome. Hope you subscribe. And thank you for taking time to watch me. And if you've already subscribed, then welcome back. Hope you're okay. And love to hear from you, so don't forget to comment below. Comment, like, do what you want. Wow, I'm hyper today. So, this video... I am doing my first story time rant. I have got three things that I'm going to talk to you about. So that's a one, two, three, or an undone two. So the first thing is I've mentioned it before. Uh, for Halloween, I am going to go to Festival of the Dead with my friend. And on with the app Wish, which I love, I am not slating it, but. Obviously, uh, if you've used it, you get some good items, you get some bad items. And i seen this, and I really liked it. I don't know if you can see, but it is a like a, a feather collar. What sits around your neck, the black feathers come down. So that's another picture. And I thought it was like quite gothic, and it would look quite nice with what I'm planning. Uh, there's quite a few pictures. Of the same uh, garment, there's another one. It looks like a, an actual customer wearing it, uh, and that's all the pictures. So I seen that, and I was like, "Oh, it's not a bad price." It was only one pound, so not too bad. Uh, the postage was like three pound, I think, uh, and I thought, "Oh, I'll order that. That would go lovely with my outfit." And uh, so this morning. More uh, a packet package came. It was tiny. It was honestly about that big, and I was like, "Oh, some evenings that has came that I've ordered," but no. I open it and then I pull out that, and I'm like, "What's that?" I don't remember ordering that. And then I actually went back onto the app to go through my order history, and then I realised it actually does open up. So I opened it up, and then I realised. It was the feather colour, and that is it. That's all it is. There's nothing to tie on with. There's no clips. There was nothing, and I was like, wow. <laughs> How not like the picture that looks. If I wanted a feather border for something, I, then I could use this. If I just wanted some loose feathers, I could use this. But if I wanted a feather collar that goes around my neck, that ties up at the back to add like a graphic theme, then I would not use this. How am I meant to tie it on? Seriously, it doesn't even wrap around my neck long enough for me to t like actually tie it around my neck because it's, it's too short. And I'm like, <laughs> that is one epic fail. So yeah, I won't be wearing that for Halloween. Unless I could like stitch it onto a t-shirt or something and make it look half decent. So yeah, uh, so I contacted them and I will probably be asking for my money back. Uh, again, I'm not really slating Wish because I love it. I, uh, half, of the pe half of the things you get from there are good. Half of the things you get there are not so good. And that was one of the not so goods. So that was a bit of a fail. So... The second thing I want to talk to you about is the Royal Mail. They have disappointed me so, so much. Not more disappointed, it's just made me think some of their staff are quite rude. So I come home from work and there's a parcel on my doorstep, which I'm used to. I order a lot, you know how much I love shopping. Anyway, there was a, there was a package on my doorstep and if the Royal Mail leave anything on my doorstep, that I will happily post a card through my door, uh, door, door what's that called, door, um, le letterbox, do, <laughs> uh, they'll post a card through my letterbox to say, hey, we've been, we, uh, no one was in, so we've left the package on your doorstep, which is fine, because my flat, the way it's located, it's like off the streets, uh, you don't, it's not really visible by uh, walking passers. So I'm more than happy for them to leave it there. But um, when I opened the door, there was no card, which, oh, oh, okay then. They just didn't decide to leave a card this time. But then I noticed there was a bit of rubbish on 
the in my garden, which I found strange because it hadn't been that windy, so it was possible. It was pretty much impossible for rubbish to have been blown in my garden from the streets. And when I looked closer, that is what I found. And then I was like, oh, that's funny, that looks like one of the Royal Mail, Mail cards. So I opened it up and I was like, that is a Royal Mail, that is a Royal Mail card. And I'm not going to show it because it's got my address, but there is... Uh, the person who delivered this parcel had started to write my address and decided to stop and then for some reason decided to screw it up and instead of posting it they just chucked it in my garden and I just think why? What is the point of littering? Why not to just pop it in your pocket and take it to your van if you decide not to post it through my letterbox? Why? Didn't you decide to post it through my letterbox? Um, but what confuses me even more is to get in my garden, you have to walk past not one bin, not two bin, but five bins. Three of them bins are normal household bins. Uh, there's no locks on it. Anyone can just like lift up the lid, put rubbish in it, and close the lid back. And then there's another two bins that are dedicated for paper, cardboard, stuff like that. So... I don't understand why this person who works for the Royal Mail decides to, ch st for some reason, stops writing it and then screws it up and then chucks it in my garden. What is the point of littering? I don't understand why people litter. There are plenty of bins everywhere on the streets. Even if you're in a shop, then just ask a member of staff, excuse me, have you got a bin I can ch uh, chuck this rubbish in? And that they will just uh, uh, either take it off you or tell you where there is a bin. I don't understand why people litter and I don't understand why this Royal Mail colleague employee, or uh, yeah, employee, um, employer, uh, Royal Mail person decides to screw up rubbish, obvious from the Royal Mail, and then chucks it in my garden. Instead of putting it into any of the five bins, he would have had to walk past twice. Once, uh, once to get into my garden and once to get out. It just baffles me. So, that rant is over. But the next one, I'm quite happy with this. Um, uh, for my work lunches, I like to have a chocolate bar. And my biscuit bar of choice are these Fox's Triple Biscuits. Have you ever had them? I love these. I get the mine from Iceland, and then at the moment they are 50p a pack. You get nine in a pack, and it is a biscuit base with a chocolate centre with a biscuit on top. Anyway, the other day I came to open one, and it was obvious that there was pretty much nothing inside. I have got a photo, so I, will, I can show you. Uh, what exactly was in it because I decided to take a picture because I thought it was quite funny um, so where are you uh, yeah here it is so that is what I opened it is just half of one that uh, the top of a biscuit it's not like the whole length of the biscuit it's just half the biscuit. there was nothing inside it that's the back as well so um, I wasn't angry, I wasn't annoyed, I just thought it was quite funny actually, uh, because quite often you can, uh, in different companies, like for, for, for example, Kit Kats, uh, sometimes you'll just get a, uh, all chocolate instead with no uh, wafer inside, which you can understand with manufacturing problems, it's done on a, a conveyor belt thingy, and the odd one can slip through. Anyway, as I thought it was funny, just decided to post it on uh, Twitter because I talk to a lot of people on Twitter uh, and I just happened to tag foxes in it because the brand is foxes. Uh, I, I posted the picture, tagged foxes in it and my message uh, tweet was, uh, okay, okay uh, nice biscuit, but where's the rest of the biscuits? LOL. And then I sent it. And then... Uh, completely forgot about it. I didn't do it because I wanted to get uh, Fox's attention. I didn't do it for any other reason apart from I just thought it was funny and it was just something I decided to do. Anyway, a couple of hours later I got a message back from 
boxes itself saying we are incredibly sorry blah de blah de blah uh, if you'd like to send your name and address uh, to this other email sorry it was a direct message they told me to direct message them my name email, uh, and address and they'll send it on to their complaints team and I was like oh you don't have to I was just uh, putting it on Twitter because I thought it was funny anyway I, I don't want to said anyway this morning uh, I wake up and I have got some post so I open it and it is actually from Foxes. So, this is what the letter says. Uh, thank you for uh, contacting us about our triple bars and are sorry to learn that you was not satisfied with the product. On behalf of Foxes Biscuits, please accept our apologies for your disappointment and any inconvenience caused. And then it just goes on to say they care about uh, customers, blah, blah, blah. And I just thought that was incredibly nice that they actually care about their products. They care about their customers. Uh, they contact the customers if they seem not happy. And also they enclosed three £1 vouchers, which I can redeem in any store, I think, because there was no um, shop lists on them, which I thought was incredibly nice of them. Anyway, um, so I received three of these, I set me free, so I decided, because I get these from Iceland, I decided to go to Iceland to see if I could actually use them there. And these are reduced to clear at the moment in Iceland, I think they're reduced to clear, they're either reduced or reduced to clear. Anyway, they're 50 pence each, so I was able to use one of these vouchers, and I got two packs, and I just want to say thank you Fox. Foxes, I don't know how if it's Fox or Foxes, but my gratitude is with you, thank you. You didn't have to send me those vouchers, you didn't have to reply to my tweets, but you listened to your customers and you contacted your customers when they seemed to be distressed. So I appreciate what you have done and you have gave me snacks for the next two weeks at least for my work lunches. So a huge thumbs up to you. And that uh, that comes to the end of my rants and stories. So thank you if you have made it this far and you are still watching. I give you two thumbs up and you have no idea how much it means to me that you are watching this video. Uh, if, you are, if you have subscribed after this video, then thank you. I will see you in my next video as well as hopefully all the other subscribers. I have managed to hit 50 subscribers, uh, like I said in my last video, I think. But since then, I've got another two subscribers, so hello to you two. And also, if you are watching this, the person who approached me in public, it was actually my workplace, um, if you are watching this then and you came up to me and says that you watch my videos, I apologise for my reaction. You caught me off guard. You was the first person to approach me who I don't know and say that you watch my uh, videos. I was completely... Uh, I don't know what the word is, but I was a bit in shock and I didn't really, I didn't know how to react. So my reaction was giggling. I said, oh, okay. And I walked away. So if you are watching this, get in touch. I, I want to like say hello properly. I don't want to just be that person that you watch on YouTube who giggled at you, said okay and walked away. So if you, if you are out there, and you have, are happening to see this comment below or that other uh, where you originally seen me. Uh, send me a message, say hello, I want to say hello back. So, hello to you, make sure you contact me if you're watching this. So anyway, uh, thank for, ugh, can't talk. Thank you for watching, it, it, you have no idea how much it means to me. So I'm going to end it there. It's a goodbye from me, Matt, and a goodbye from Rainbow Soul. Keep it sassy.